Can autopilot go around roundabouts? Does it work without lane markings? In the rain? In like heavy ass rain? In reverse? Every time I double tap that stalk, I feel like I'm at the forefront of tech. I'll cover how far this tech can be pushed in this video so people start actually using it on normal roads. So this Model Y video is gonna be pretty cool because one of the best features I think is autopilot. My goodness. You don't know until you get into a car that doesn't have autopilot and has that stupid, what do you call it, the ping pong, what do you call it, the lane keep assist or whatever. It is not the same thing. Autopilot is an AI driven, neural network connected, semi-automatic thing that can just stick to its lane and go through intersections and things like that. And it's traffic aware. That's what autopilot is. And I'm talking about non-highway. So there's no lane markings here, as you can see. Um, I don't know if it's because it can see the cars in front. It's like, yeah, I think this is it. Um, but it's doing a mighty good job. On highway, common sense, you, sh you should be using autopilot. If you're not, what are you doing? I have a question for you. Uh, do you use autopilot? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. This whole time I've been telling everyone you didn't use it. I use! <laughs> do you know how to use it? How yeah. do you use it? Okay. I have a friend, he's never used autopilot outside of the motorway. It just blew his mind when I told him I use autopilot everywhere. He was just like, what? You can use autopilot everywhere? And I'm like, bro, are you serious? You're using this car like as if it's like a Honda CRV. What are you doing? To educate stupid people like that, I decided to make this video. Here are quick straight facts about what autopilot is and is not. One, autopilot comes standard for free with all Teslas. Autopilot wasn't designed to drive from point A to B. It's designed to auto steer on marked roads. So FSD beta is the, I don't know, $15,000, $10,000 option, depending on where you're from, that can actually drive from point A to B which isn't yet available in Australia. But when it does, please subscribe, watch all the ads, watch it multiple times so I can afford it. Autopilot decelerates to a complete stop when a car in front stops and accelerates again without any input from the driver. Bro, the first time I used autopilot on this road actually, when the car stopped and then it started again when the car in front of me moved, it blew my mind. It will not stop at stop signs or red lights. You need to upgrade to the full self-driving for that feature and it will work in Australia, like the stopping at stop signs and traffic lights, that'll work in Australia. Auto steer isn't activated as default. It's a beta feature that needs to be switched on in settings, autopilot, auto steer. Then tick yes, risk my life. Autopilot isn't advertised to auto drive on small streets. However, the car tells you when it's confident or not in doing auto drive with this little symbol. I love the user experience of autopilot. Um, and I'll show you how it works. On this screen, as you can see right now, on the left side, you've got the speed limit. As soon as you can see like the gray number next to the speed limit, um, that means you can pull pull the stalk down once and once that highlights this is now adaptive cruise control but I need to do the steering tap up once and it'll clear that we're completely in manual drive now if you see this symbol up here which is the grayed out autopilot symbol if you tap down twice it'll turn on autopilot and now it's steering and accelerating for me so let's let's try to go around this small ass street turn that no lane keep assist would be able to do by the way let's just see how, how this goes it beeps telling me to keep my hands on the wheel but yeah it just turned that with ease you must have your hands on the steering wheel at all times especially when crossing an intersection i've seen it do insane things like switching lanes like as if it's filming a movie out of fast and the furious 
like I've seen it do that. So always have your hand on the steering wheel. This is the trust level I have, like it ends there. Like I just don't think it's gonna stop turning into the right lane because there's a car there. Ah! I had to take over, did you see that? Autopilot cannot go around roundabouts. Actually, can it? Okay, this roundabout, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I went over it. Autopilot works at night, in the rain as well. But just be aware that it uses visuals only and has no radar or LiDAR support. So if you can't see the road because of the weather's weather going crazy, then Autopilot won't be able to see the road either. It will tell you if it's like, oof, too much, too much. I'm gonna turn it off. So can you tell me your experience with Autopilot? <laughs> wow, I am I am proud. I am proud. This is the exact moment I knew I married the right woman. The fact that she uses autopilot on normal roads, that's it. That's the sign. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's actually my birthday today. Gonna chill out there and edit this this footage right here, this video right here at that cafe. Keen, pumped. Let's do it. So I am going to a friend's house right now. A solid 42 minute drive to his place. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to be using autopilot pretty much the whole way there. So I just filmed the full autopilot drive just so you can get a feel of how I use it day to day on my commutes. Autopilot basically drove about 95% of the way there. If someone's going to merge, it'll slow down for that car to merge in. Um, if someone tries to swerve into me, it'll, it'll know and move out of the way. Yeah, this is where you can literally chuck your brain in the bin and just just like, like, like go into zombie mode. Don't sleep. Yeah, but this is ideal, ideal conditions for autopilot. So I can see another Tesla couple cars ahead. I'm going to try to go next to them and see if they're actually using autopilot on this ideal road. Um, just to prove my point that a lot of Tesla users don't use autopilot on most situations. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but I'll be able to see. Oh, he is using autopilot. He is. Do you know how I know? He's drinking a coffee, touching the screen at the same time. <laughs> okay. My point was not proven. Here is a real narrow street where autopilot worked flawlessly. No matter how much I tried to explain how good this system is, you just need to experience it for yourself. And it takes time for you to start trusting it. It took me about a month or so before I started feeling absolutely comfortable. Here's footage of me on the day I took delivery of my Model Y using autopilot for the first time on a motorway. <laughs> okay, as promised, Fat Baby is back. I have two, by the way. I don't know if people know, but I've got two. So this Fat Baby alone has got me more subscribers in a week than all my efforts put together over the year. So this little baby has found her purpose, right? And just like how she's found the purpose, I think I found the purpose for this channel. Yes, I will always talk about tech and self-improvement and things like that because that's what I'm passionate about. But instead of just talking about the tech, I want to build a community where we just, we use this tech. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's right. We use this tech to actually be a blessing to other people in need and communities and organizations that need, that need our help. The thing is this platform 
does not need another tech YouTuber. You know, if you want your tech fix, just go to MKBHD. You can get all the fixes there. That's, that's what I'm doing. If you want to join a community where we actually make a difference, right? Join me because next year, around this time next year, I'm going to shoot my next documentary. We don't know where yet. Um, but when we shoot that documentary, I really want this community to get involved. Okay, my turn. All right, Joy, is there anything you want to say? Um, my, my, my sister's name is Mia because my sister's so cute because my, my... Let's read some comments. I'm just going to read down the list. I love your video on the first few seconds, sub when I saw the baby. Bro, you should take fat baby as your assistant. Done, subscribed, and I'm looking forward to the fat baby in your video in the future. No matter what videos you make, please add your fat baby in every video. Subscribe because of your fat baby is adorable. Please don't call the baby fat. We're going to be a party pooper, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a lot of encouragement from these comments. There's over 200 and something comments we received in the last couple days. Say bye-bye. We have a kiss. Kiss, kiss. Kiss to the camera. It's going to get me like a thousand subscribers. Hurry up. Kiss to the camera. Bye bye. Whoa, you're gonna kill everyone's ears. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Mia, your turn. Bye bye. Yeah. We literally just hit three thousand five hundred subscribers, like overnight. This is absolutely amazing. Um, so we've decided to go full time YouTube, and my wife's gonna go back to full time work and. <laughs> Do a second job so i can do, i can do this youtube thing because in the long term this is going to make more money right so that's it shake <laughs>